Hello and welcome to episode 2 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Or rather than welcome back, maybe I should say, Salamat datang kembali. Uh, to all the new Indonesian watchers of this channel, welcome aboard. It's an honour to have you here. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're all keen to see how your nation's new hero, potential new hero, Eggy Milanovic gets on in this career. I am very excited too. We're yet to get into the Belgian league season. We've still got one more game in the ICC against River Plate. And we're in a position where, in theory, Waslin could come away with a win, which would be an incredible start to the season. But before we get into the first game against River Plate, uh, we do have a couple of bits to get through. Firstly, I'd like to thank the three new patrons who came on board via Patreon and are now donating to this channel every month. You make a huge difference. You mean a hell of a lot to me. So thank you, Andreas Pavic, Riddit Basic, and Jack Biz. All three of you are absolute legends in my book. And just a quick reminder of what Patreon does for this channel. On one side of it, if you become a patron, you're helping support me as a content creator, but also we have goals there. If we reach the $100 monthly goal, then I'll be adding two live streams each month to this channel. That's what we're working towards. We're not far off it now, and every little helps, even a dollar a month. So uh, consider it if you haven't. If not, hey, as I've always said, we can still be mates. Just make sure you always like and comment each video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to the new patrons and thank you to the existing patrons. You are the lifeblood of this channel. And the other advantage of becoming a patron, if you fancy it, is you get to vote on major decisions on this channel. In both of the series that we do, in Master League and in uh, Become a Legend. And we're at the point now where we need to uh, make sure that Eggy's training is on track. Is all the right boxes are being ticked. So we can go through this now. Obviously this training bit here we can change as we go. So let me know in the comments where you think we should be investing the points. Uh, I'm going to take it away from defence. I don't think that's going to be part of it. Uh, I would like to improve his stamina. That always is a, a good place to start in Become a Legend. Um, his speed as well could also maybe do with improving. His dribbling's pretty good. His passing could do with improving as well. Um, so maybe we'll take one off dribbling, give one to passing. Keep the shooting as it is. As I said, let me know in the comments what you reckon with this one. But what will be going to the Patreon vote is which skill training do we go for? Let's go and take a look. Uh, there's a whole load in here. Are there any new ones that we haven't had before? Penalty specialist? I think that might be new. Uh, no look pass. I mean, is that the most pointless skill of all time? I mean, it would look good, sure, in the replays. And we're all about the replays, but I don't think that'll be the one. What I might do is give some options. I think, you know, the smart ones maybe for Reggie to learn. I'm not so great with these skill moves here, the, the dribble moves, so maybe not using them would be a good idea. Um, long range drive, I think would be good. Knuckle shot or dipping shot, maybe that would make sense for Eggy to get one of them. Um, first time shot, one touch pass, weighted pass, those would be the smart moves to go for. One touch or weighted pass, I'd probably include those in the vote. Uh, outside curler would work well, his weak foot frequency is quite low. But outside curler will basically counteract the fact that he doesn't use his right foot very much by allowing him to uh, shoot accurately and pass accurately with the outside of his boot. Uh, low lofted pass, that's another good one as well. Uh, so I'll put a few of these together and the vote will go out. So if you want to be involved and you want to choose which skill Eggy gets first, then, you know, become a patron. One dollar a month and you can vote on all of those decisions. And there'll be some bigger ones than this. In the future, it'll be which club does he go to? Does he go to Real Madrid or Barcelona? That's the dream anyway. So that out of the way, let's get into the first game. Let's see how we line up today. Eggy's still starting in that attacking midfield position. Unfortunately, it looks like Forte, who is the guy we want to be playing with, the big target man, he's on the bench. Let's take a look at Indau. Oh, he's a much shorter. Nippier, good work, good work as a duo. This is our other key player, I think, in this side. Ampoma, he's playing on the right today, played on the left before. Yeah, there's a real mix of players in this Waslin Beveren team. Some 60 rated players who aren't very good, but then you've got this good left back here, good right midfielder. We are missing a really dangerous striker. It's a shame that Forte, which I have now Googled, and it is Italian for strong, which is which is a nice coincidence, seeing he is a big strong lad. We won't be playing with him today. What are the other strikers like? He's quite tall. Oh, he's a big guy as well. I just like the idea of Eggy feeding off a big striker. But it's not going to be today against River Plate, playing in a lovely Christmas tree formation, reminiscent of Sven-Goran Eriksson. Uh, they're packing the midfield. Three central midfielders there. This could be tricky for Eggy to find a bit of space. Had some chances in the last game. Be good to get a goal or an assist today to get off the mark. And I think to actually take home the ICC trophy, we're going to need a big, big scoring win today. I think three or four goals plus 
to realistically beat, I can't remember who it is, who's top on goal difference. Everyone's on three points at the moment, which is unlikely, perhaps, but a good showing would be plenty for Eggy today. Let's go. So in real life, as we know, Eggy playing at Lechia Gdansk. I'm sure I'm getting the pronunciation of that wrong. Someone did point it out. I can't remember what they said. Uh, but he actually was on the bench for the first team this weekend for the first time in a game that they won. And uh, Lechia are top of the division. They're having an absolutely flying start to the season. It always seems to be with players that they'll get a loan. All the players that we've played with, actually, Gabby Gold, Jack Harrison, and now, uh, now Eggy have had loan moves to clubs who then do really well and don't need him to play. That's the tricky thing. When Jack went to Middlesbrough, he barely got a game because they were doing so well and had a Dharma Traore. Gabby Gold at Benfica, he barely played as well. And uh, it seems to be similar now for Eggy. If they were at the bottom of the league and they were really struggling, he might be getting more minutes. But he certainly seems to be getting plenty of minutes here at Waslin Beveren. And uh, can he get off the mark today with either an assist or a goal? That would be ideal. Let's do this. River Plate with a throw in here. Fernandez puts a looping ball in. It will fall to Martinez who blazes it over the bar. First chance of the game. So 15 minutes in and Wasland have had 25% possession. River Plate are dominating here. A goal would be deserved. Socko just puts it over the bar. We're struggling and Eggy just cannot get on the ball. He's being suffocated by all those five midfielders that River Plate had started with. Oh, nice play again. Casco now brings it forward. Checks back. To Palacios. Oh, lovely low ball into Perez. And they're off the mark. Predictable. They've been absolutely overrunning us all game. And here, well, they took their time. And this is a lovely ball in. Flat pass in. And a lovely finish as well. Wasland just cannot get into this one. Oh, another long ball. So absolutely no one. River Plate keep coming. And that's a lovely effort. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wasland really not showing their class today. The defender, that is just, uh, that couldn't be any more of a nothing ball. Basically had his head down. He just didn't want it anymore. There's no confidence in this Wasland Beveren side today. Eggy's really struggling to get involved, but that's not just him. I'm not sure if the strikers had a touch. And River Plate, absolutely dominant here, and that's a great finish. And that is half time here, and it has been a woeful performance from Wasland Beveren. Where is the Wasland Beveren? He managed to beat Atletico Madrid. Pretty comfortably in the first game. We've really stepped off the pace. Eggy has had an absolute nightmare today. Unable to get involved in any way at all. But we've only had 35 passes in total. But uh, this is not going to be good reading at the halftime stats. Three, only half of his passes have actually made it to anyone. Um, and nine touches just isn't going to be enough. As you can see there, pretty much all of them in his own half. That's just not good enough. But then no one else really has done anything good, so we've got that going for us at least. Nicely won. Oh, it's through to Eggy. Inside of Casco, that's lovely work. Now into the box. Oh, tries to go back inside again. Ah, <laughs> better. Confident. Felt he could do it. Felt he could do it all on his own. Tried to cut back inside again, though. Just didn't quite have the skill for it. So, almost an hour in here, and Eggy is looking very, very... Eggy is looking leggy. Indeed. We're going to really try and have to manage his fatigue because it's not looking great at the moment. Oh, that's nice though. Finds a ball out. Ball down the line is an option. Eggy is square. Square it. Yes. No. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's a great run. The run from deep that was hopefully going to be a trademark of his play in years to come. And he got himself into a great position. Square ball was fine. Probably should have done better. Keeper did well. So that could well be the end of Eggy's day. Yes, it is. He's off for Heyman's. And it's Thrill Keld on as well. Well, not a great performance from Eggy today. But we've got to accept that is going to happen. We've still got a long way to go to gel in this side. But also get used to football at this high level. Eggy's got to improve his stamina. He's got to improve just what he does with the ball when he gets it. It's good to see him having the confidence to try and take on multiple players. Really, it may be smarter just to lay the ball off. Had another good opportunity on goal today, though. And he really needs to get off the mark. That would really, really help his confidence. But I feel like it's not far away. But it's not going to be today. And I don't think we're going to be winning the ICC. But the important games come when we get into the league in the next game. We'll rejoin the action here if there are any goals. But does it really matter at this point? I don't think so. Oh, and Wasland have got one back. And it is the substitute who replaced Eggy. That doesn't bode well. Heyman's who gets the goal. It's a piercing counter-attack. 
the sort we weren't really able to find in the uh, in the time that Eggy was on the pitch. That's a good finish. And there we have it. And it's not going to be a cup for us to start the season, but it was always a big ask. We played our way back into it slightly. At least we had chances. Eggy with a big one. With a really big chance. Comes away with a 5 though. At least it's not a 4.5. But we we weren't great in possession. The passing was off. And the finishing when we had the chance, not great. So it looks like it might be Atletico Madrid who take home the trophy. Yes, they do. They're two wins. And we beat them as well. Does that mean that we sort of win as... Well, no, that's not how it works, is it? So there we are, still on 69 rating. Obviously, we had that jump from 67 up to 69. The effect of uh, being trained at a big club like Waslan Beveren already improving Eggy substantially. Uh, his stamina has gone up to 70. He looked pretty tired in that game throughout. Uh, would you a finishing and ball control upgrade soon and physical contact and unwavering balance? Those would all be very welcome at this point. And we're up to 53 manager trust level. That might be enough to start in the first league game, but I expect a few games on the bench as well. We've got a nice long wait for our first game against Yupen. Cars Yupen? Upen. And we do start. That's good. Right. We've had a, a chance to just try things out. We had opportunities to score goals. We didn't take them, but now it's serious. Now it really matters. We're moving into the Jupiler League. And this is a nice cutscene. Is this Jupiler specific? It is. Oh, that's nice. And there's the trophy. And what a trophy that is. It's Jupiler. It's Jupiler's a type of beer, isn't it? Do they allow alcohol sponsorship anymore in the UK? I don't know if they do, but obviously in Belgium, it's absolutely fine. There's Eggy just throwing a spud out. He's looking good. Some of you might be wondering whether we've got the right skin tone for Reggie. It is a close run thing. Uh, his actual real life skin tone is somewhere between maybe the slightly tanned version of him here or the next option below, which is maybe a little bit too pale. Um, but I think he looks all right in game. And uh, yeah, he's obviously getting a lot of sun in Belgium compared to Indonesia. That makes sense, doesn't it? I'm not a meteorologist anyway. Not much more to do now than get into this game and please let's score a goal. Please let's do something good. We're up against much worse opposition today in Yupen. They're playing two defensive midfielders that could cause problems for us. But their defence is certainly not as strong as some of the ones we've played against in the ICC. We're back with Forte and Ampoma out on the right. Uh, Dierks on the left is pretty quick as well. So we've got some pacey wingers and Eggy really needs to start linking up with them. And we need to be looking for the nod downs from this guy. Let's get a big win to start the season and keep manager Yannick Ferreira nice and happy with us. And uh, not giving him any excuses to drop us. So here we are. Unfortunately, not a home game. It would have been good to start at home. But uh, on the road is fine. It can't be that far. Belgium's pretty small, isn't it? The travel times can't be that big. Do you know, I've absolutely no idea how big Belgium is. I would really like to go to Belgium. This might be a good reason to go. Maybe I'll go and watch a Waslam Bever. I don't know if anyone watching this is from... Beveren or Wasland, I've absolutely no idea which of those is. I think Wasland Beveren actually is a is two clubs that combined, I think, in the last sort of ten years. Um, so I don't know what that's done for the fan base. You, you'd think that'd be double the fan base. They are playing in the top league. The stadium they play in is is, is a pretty big stadium actually. I was surprised. I'm sort of expecting it to be one of those like one shed stadiums. I know so little about Belgium, don't I? I don't understand the size of the league or the size of the country. Uh, there was one mistake in the last episode where I uh, said that the Polish league was better than the Belgian league. That was a that was a slip of the tongue. I'd actually look at the I'd had a look at the uh, coefficients for the leagues, and for some reason I just got them mixed up because I I know that Belgium is actually much higher ranked than Poland. So this is a step up for Eggy really, and he comes in for a first start here against Claude Makaleli's Kazupan. Is that well, it's by C Makaleli? That must be Claude. Claude. Oh, interesting. Well. We can get something today. We can announce ourselves into the Belgian League. And that's a lovely shot there, just behind the tactics. Can't quite see it, but that looks beautiful. Right, let's do it. Well, one back. Got to be looking for some simple passes this time. And there we have it. Oh, and that is a big tackle. A reducer to start the game off. Straight through the back of him, and it's a yellow card. Right off the mark. Why them taking their time here, and they're going to go all the way back. Got to make a decision here, mate. Okay. Let's start again. Eggy trying to look for that defence splitting pass. It's pushed wide. It's a lovely header back. Oh, Eggy with a lovely first touch there. Get to it. Get to it. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're taken out. This Is is this a local derby? There's been some big tackles already from Yupin. And it's another yellow card. It's nicely worked. 
Now Diox can get a ball into the box. He cuts back. Ball into Forte at the near post. Isn't cleared. Oh, Eggy tries to ride the challenge and he does and he'll get the shot off here. Oh, really great effort. Great balance there. Looked to have been fouled, but he stayed on his feet and the ball fell kindly to him. Got a good shot off first of the game from either, see, either team. It was very nearly a first goal for Eggy Milana. And here come Yupin with a counter-attack. Oh, that's a nice ball down into Xavi Molina. Into the box, cuts it back to Pollitt. His effort is saved. Great save. Chances down either end of the pitch here as the first half is nearly over. And that's poorly done. We can get it away. But only temporarily as Okansi will start again. Molina out to Schwerte in a lot of space. He checks. Back to Molina. Lovely ball in. This is nice here from Yupin. And that was a very poor cross though to end it. And that is half time here. Well, it was Eggy with the big chance of the game after some great work to win the ball back. It's a shot apiece on target. We've had more possession. We've looked more threatening. Haven't quite been able to finish it off with a telling pass or beating a man. Eggy's still, again, trying to find his feet. We just need more possession. We need more time on the ball. We do get closed down very quickly, especially with two defensive midfielders. Would love to score a goal. Come on, we've got to break our scoring drought. It's been three games now. This will be the fourth. We cannot allow that. I don't think Eggy's been brought in specifically to score goals, but you've got to know from the performances he's made for his Indonesian teams that he is a goal scorer, despite being an attacking midfielder. He does expect to get in the box and score goals. That's what Waslan Beveren will have wanted to see from him. That's what we've got to deliver. Lovely first touch. He's away from Malumbu. Oh, and that's great work to find Ampoma. I think that's his name. He slows the play down quite a lot. Oh, and he loses out to Cater. That's unfortunate. Great build up from Eggy. And Yupin straight down the other end of the pitch. And it's Cater. It's a ball in. Pollock with a great first touch. Oh, it's off the post. Should have been 1-0 there. Yes, well won back. What can we do here? Forte lays it off into Eggy. Ball over the top. He's offside. He's offside. He's not offside. Finish! Finish! You've got to finish that! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I was already chalking up the assist for Eggy. It was a perfectly looped ball over the top. A deft chip into his striker. He just couldn't finish it. Eggy lays it off here. Forte. No, I'm offside. I'm offside. No! Wrong man. Damn it. Chances are coming. At either end, though, it's getting very open this game. A shooter den. Just cuts back, looking for uh, reinforcements. And that's a lovely ball back into shooter den. A square ball now to Milovic. Surely Pollitt to win it here. No, no, no. This is not the start we needed. First game of the season, we had a couple of big chances. And then they came straight back down the other end of the pitch. That is an incredible ball. And then... Wasn't going to miss that one. Oh, Eggy's read that very well. Saw that coming a mile off. And now he can put a ball out into Dierks. Back into Eggy. Didn't really want it there, but we'll keep it moving. Just about. Looking for a ball in. Oh, no. Come on. We're doing everything right here. I think it's our teammates who are the problem. And Eggy is off. Unlucky. Really unfortunate not to get an assist or a goal today. He did everything right. Ticked all the boxes for me. Made good runs. Controlled the ball well. Put a great ball through into Forte as well. He just couldn't finish it. Absolutely gutted. And that chance in the first half. Very well hit. And it looks like we're coming away with not a single point from the first game of the season. It's a real disappointment. Oh, and there's the second for Yupin. Just to kill this one off. We had any chance of getting back into it. That now is long gone. Short corner very well worked and that's a great ball in. Defence had completely switched off. And that is three points lost. And that is not the start to the season that we would have hoped for. And it's full time here in Yupin. And that is not good enough. Simply not good enough. I'll be very interested to see Eggy's rating in that one. Because I think he played well. He misplaced a few passes as you'd expect. But I thought he was calm and composed on the ball. A great ball through, which they should have finished off. Yeah, he gets uh, a six, which is his best rating so far. And that, I think, is pretty accurate as to how he played. Very unfortunate not to get anything in the stat sheet, though. Forte with a 4.5 performance. That sums it up, really. He was not the striker we needed in front of us. Didn't even manage to hold the ball up. And that's what we thought he was going to provide, at the very least. So, we're not bottom of the league, thankfully. But we are very close to it, and we don't want to be staying there. 
You want to put putting in a title challenge, but at the very least, I think he wants to be making himself known. And uh, to do that, you need to be playing in a winning side. Speaking of skin colour, though, look, he looks a lot lighter in this uh, in this image here. I think that is pretty close to his actual skin tone. But anyway, that's not really that important. What is important is that we get a goal. And normally, in a traditional Become a Legend Story Mode episode, I will only play two games, but I'm so keen for Eggy to get off the mark that I'm going to give him one more shot. We'll play one more game in this episode. We haven't been playing full 90 minutes either, so I think we deserve one more as a treat. But we're not in the squad today. Okay, this will happen. This will happen at the beginning of the uh, beginning of the series. I'm not too concerned about that. There will always be a lot of uh, a lot of chopping and changing. And Eggy's on an upward arrow. That's disappointing, but still, that's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll come back from that, so we can skip this one. And it's a draw. Well, we get our first point of the season. That's a positive at least. So we're on the bench today for our first Crokey Cup game. For those of you who aren't Belgium, you might not be aware, but Crokey is basically the Walkers of Belgium. So it's sort of like the Walkers Crisp Cup, which is nice. So uh, as I said, as a little treat and as a thank you to all of you who watched the first episode and came back for the second one, we are going to play this game, although we're likely to not get very many minutes in this. But we'll see if we can come off the bench against Standard Liège and make a difference. Uh, let's have a look and see how our... Form is good form. Good form. Upward arrow again. Heyman's though starts in our place today. Uh, how will we get on in this first home game of the season? So Waslan Beveren are currently five games without a win. We've not started the season well, but our first game here at the Freethiel Stadion. Freethiel, Freethiel, you'll have to, someone, please, Belgians, please let me know if I'm saying that right. So it's our first game in front of the uh, yellow and blue army. Here is, uh, is where we need to start off our winning run. But Standard Liège, got to be one of the most difficult opponents in the Belgian league. Can we get off to a great start in the Crokey Cup? Well, we'll join the action if anything happens. But if not, then we'll just wait and see if Eggy gets any minutes in the second half. So it's the end of the first half here in this Crokey Cup matchup. And it is nil-nil. A resounding nil-nil as well. Not a single shot on target or otherwise from either side. It's been very cagey. But it's the perfect game to chuck on Eggy. Let's see if he gets on in the second half. And he does straight in. Ferreira's decided to make a change at halftime. Heyman's comes off after achieving nothing. And Eggy is given a full 45. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Well cut out there. And now Ampoma will bring it forward. Oh, the pass inside to Eggy is a great one. Through on goal. Can he get off the mark here? No! Oh, God. Under pressure from the defender, but he had time to open up his body. I was sure that was going to be goal number one. This was a beautiful back heel, and then Eggy did really well to get onto it. Threw on goal. Looked to shape the effort past the keeper. And that is heartbreaking for Eggy. He's got to score a goal today. He's got to get off the mark. And that was the perfect opportunity. One on one with the keeper. Head in hands there. The whole of Indonesia. And Eggy as well. <laughs> Into the striker. He lays it off to Eggy. Opens up a little from here. Edge of the box, makes his way past another. Eggy with the shot now. Oh, side netting. Oh, come on. Come on. That was beautiful running there. It all opened up. Some good dummy runs. A little move away from his man. Onto the favoured left. Hit it well, but just into the side netting. We're getting closer. We're getting so much closer. 20 minutes left in this one to get what would be a decisive goal here. Nice ball into Eggy. Can he slip in and Poma? Yes, he can. And now the striker. Eggy's in the box. Took too long about that. That's a good ball out. Eggy wants it near post. Oh, the defender does really well. Almost got to that one. And Poma. Ball into the striker. Oh, looking for Eggy as well. Oh, we've taken out a... <laughs> that was... I mean, you've got to appreciate his enthusiasm here. Will the referee give him a card? I think that would be unlikely. Or unfair, even. It's just a talking to here. I mean, you've got to credit him. It's full of passion. Oh, I mean, he's not far off making a big fool. The Mexican number one keeper there. Took too long in possession. Oh, we forced the defender into a mistake there. And now Eggy 
Will he get his goal here? Hits it with the right! Get in there! Yes! And we get the super sub trophy as well, even though we came on at half time. It had to come. It was coming. It was only a matter of time. And he gets his first goal in the yellow and blue of Waslan Beveren in front of the home fans here against Standard Liège. It's a massive, massive way to introduce yourself and surely cult hero status is only moments away for him. He's come in and he scored a great goal there. He put pressure on the defender, made him make a mistake. And that was what set off that move. The ball over the top was looped in. And he still had a lot to do. So look at this great pressure on the defender. Made him make that decision. Made him make the mistake. The ball over, he had to be a good first touch. And it was a really good one. And then he got his weaker foot over it as well, beating Ochoa. And that is an introduction. And if you want to scream and shout and celebrate that goal as well, smash that like button. Because as you know, one like equals, well, it's the equivalent of a Newcastle fan drinking six bottles of Nuki Brown and punching a horse. That is what you're doing. You are celebrating. So smash that like button to celebrate Eggie's first goal for Waslan Beveren. First goal in Europe. First goal at the top flight. And surely not the last. Surely just the first of many. And uh, oh, very excited. Can we make sure it's the winner here? Well, Eggie's going to be defending his heart out now to try and ensure that that is the goal that sees us with a big advantage in this two-legged Belgian Cup affair. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. I'm starting to think it might never come. Cavanda inside to Agbo. One last chance here. For Standard Liège. Eggy's back defending. He's done enough there. Just to put them off. And the ball is cleared. And the fans ring out across their home stadium. It's a massive first win of the season here. In the cup. To beat the big boys of Standard Liège. And uh, Eggy very happy, I'm sure, to get his first goal for the club. The manager... Yannick Ferreira will be very, very pleased as well with his new signing. He's already fitting in well into this side. And look, they're talking. What are they talking about there that's so important they have to cover their mouths? I don't understand. But there we have it. Well, we had chances in that one. We had a one on one which we should have put away. But thankfully, given a second opportunity, we did. Here's the one on one. Through on goal. Oh, it's only inches wide. But, but eventually, we did make one count. And that is great work. So it was a very tight game 50 50 possession. Uh, but Standard Liège were very poor. And Eggy on for a 7.5 and a man of the match performance. That's exactly what we wanted. And his first professional goal. And what a way to start our croaky cup run. We've still got another game to play to overcome Standard Liège. But uh, yeah, that's great. And that gives us a little boost up to 58% manager trust level. And we're now one goal in five appearances. Oh, we go only three days later for the second leg. Is that how the croaky cup works? That is brutal. Well, we're on the bench again. Uh, we'll be very tired after that because we ran ourselves into the ground in that 45 minute spell. But we don't need to play that now anyway. We can have that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing our first goal. And uh, in the next episode, well, uh, I think we're probably just going to play these games. Uh, at some point I will start playing some games sort of off air and giving you a short highlight package of how we've done. But because it's early in the season, we want to see Eggy progress. So we will be playing these games in the next episode, which as you know, if you've been paying attention, comes out on Thursday. The schedule is Monday and Thursday is Become a Legend. Tuesday and Friday is Master League Story Mode. So if you haven't already watched the Master League series, go and check that out as well because it's pretty good. I can assure you of that. And I'm looking forward to having you join me on Thursday. I'll see you in a bit.